Alrighty guys, this is Android ROM Reviews back again. Um, I'm here with the MyTouch 4G and I have just flashed the MIUI ROM. Now I think it's pronounced MIUI and I believe I did like two minutes of reading on it a few months ago. I think it's a Chinese version of, the, of Android that we uh, ported to the US. I could be wrong, I'm not sure, don't take my word for it, but I think that's what it is. Um, so let's get started here. This is the lock screen. Right now we can see that we slide it down just like the, uh, it looks almost like the HTC one. Um, you can do that to open your SMS, which is empty because I just flashed it. And then you can also lock it again to open up the phone. Which is kind of nifty if you want to like text someone or just call someone right on the go, right as soon as you unlock the phone. Really nifty. Alright, so here's the ROM. Let me change the exposure real quick so it's not all washed out much better. So, here we are, home screen. It's pretty snippy. Uh, I was playing with it for five minutes before I made the video just so I would be kind of familiar with it because I've never used one of these before. This is my first time using this and I have to say I do like it. Um, it it's snippy but it's not super fast. I feel like the, the, the Royal Kanachi was much faster. Um, but it's all opinion anyway so it, it, my, it doesn't don't take my word for it, but this ROM is actually really cool. It's like it's not just like it's not regular Android because let's say we go to settings, the settings is totally just different. Just lo look at it. it. It's it's kind of iPhone esque, but it kind of looks cool because it's like we're used to the classic Android. But here, you know, you have all the different. Uh, wait, oh, we don't want that. It doesn't matter. No one's talking to me anyway. Um, so like. Just here, I haven't really w w gone deep into these yet, but you can just see that there's a little bit more settings than normal, um, and they look different than in classic Android. So here, all these features are still present in the other one. One thing I did notice that was different was LED settings, even though I don't think this works like it does, because I've only ever seen green and red come out of the top thing there, but I was just messing with it. Um, programs manage program so it's pretty cool uh, you can see like I just like making the videos because you can see the ROM working in real time so you can see if it lags or not so let's little shortcuts at the bottom there see messaging um, haven't tried doing this yet holding on the home button bring us up this oh so that's everything I've opened recently you can see I played with it a little app killer goes up all the apps look at that memory available that's incredible. I didn't even know that. That's great. That's almost 500 megabytes of memory free. That's that's really good. Um, this is the total program memory free, so we still get just about a full gig memory. Uh, don't want to, didn't want to open that. Running. Let's check this out. So yeah, we get we boot on 119, 119 megabytes. So that's really good. Um, so this ROM is really good if you're going to be doing a lot of heavy multitasking because it does have a lot of memory free which also leads me to believe that it's good on battery because usually when there's more memory free that's better battery. Um, one thing I did like also that was just nifty is that it says 4G. It says 4G only when you have it up but when you pull it down this is H, just a small glitch I saw when I was reading. Not that big of a deal. Uh, we have all these little quick settings that we have here. Really cool notifications, toggles, um, but I do like having that 4G because, you know, other ROMs now do say the H when it's 4G, but they say 3G when it's 3G, but I do like seeing the 4G because when people pick up my phone, they can be like, oh, cool, you're on 4G, so just a little show-offy thing. Um, this does have the uh, cyan, well, this is actually, yeah, this is a MIUI camera. But it's also got the CM7 camera on it too, which I prefer. It's got the MiWi Music, which I actually used on my Captivate. It's really cool. I don't have any songs on there now because I just formatted my SD card. Um, comes with everything normal that you would find. This is a folder actually. Usually things have folders now. Uh, so monitor. Well, Statistic Keeper, so you can see what you do. This is really cool. I like it a lot. Um, I might actually try this today 
for the full day, but I'm going to be flashing other ROMs. Um, not really much else to say about it. Everything does work that I've seen so far that I use. Um, I'm not sure what you guys use. I'm sure people use a lot more out of the phone of, but me. Be, I am considered. I do consider myself a power user because I do get on there and I, you know, I hop on the terminal and like mess with things and like, you know, play with the system a little bit. But that's about all I do. I don't like use Bluetooth. I don't really use Wi-Fi. Um, all that other stuff. Wi-Fi is most likely working. Let's turn that on here. Um, you know, pop notification, transition. Oh, there it goes. Did you know you can know? So it comes with Wi-Fi, video, voice over IP, Wi-Fi settings. So yeah, Wi-Fi works. Um, so, gallery. Don't have any photos, so I really couldn't show you anything. Um, internet. So, that's about it. So, this is me signing out again. Um, let me know if you want to see more. I will make the video longer, show you more features. But I just really want to see the whereabout, like the just roundabouts of the ROMs. So, I'm just showing you guys what I would expect to see. So, just let me know if you want to see more and go ahead and give me some comments. See ya.